So it's time for us to add the fish into the pan. Hi there, welcome back to our channel, King of Taste. Today we're cooking a whole wild sea bass. We're going to marinate it and then fry it. We'll show you how we do that. And we're also going to make some herb garlic rice to go with it. So if you come over here, I'll show you what we need. So we've got our sea bass here and we're going to marinate it with onions, garlic, ginger, lemon, some thyme. We have some apple cider vinegar, salt, turmeric, and black pepper. And then for our rice, we've been soaking about 600 grams of basmati rice and it's been soaking for a couple of hours. I have some dill, some chives, and then here I have an herb mix with parsley and cilantro and fenugreek. So I'm gonna marinate this meat, uh, this fish, and I'm gonna show you the process of doing it. So I need a lemon, the whole lemon without skin. So I'm starting with the ginger, the whole lemon and the garlic. So now I'm adding my thyme. And now I'm gonna add a teaspoon of pepper, black pepper, a teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of salt, actually two spoon, two teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and two tablespoon of oil. So I'm gonna give them a very good mix. <laughs> So I'm gonna strain them first because I need the water for top of the fish and I need the other stuff for inside the fish. So now I'm gonna mix the onions separately. So I need some lemon zest in the middle of the way so I'm gonna just get some. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give them again a very good mix. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my onions also on the top here. So now with the spoon very gently, push it a little bit in the corners to get the water from them. So now I'm going to go ahead and separate the dry part and the wet part. So now, <clears throat> because I want to cook the whole fish, I'm going to uh, go here and make the little cut on the top of the mesh, to fish, the skin, so it's going to cook better through. So adding the stuff that I marinate exactly into these little holes, get them all through. They are very strong. So adding the marinade stuff again on the other side. So now I'm going to add the dry stuff inside the 
fish belly, but not don't add too much. It's enough. So after marinating the fish, I'm gonna leave the fish into the fridge for three hours. So the fish has been marinating in the fridge for a couple of hours, so I'm gonna start the rice. So to start, if you come over here, I will chop up the chives and the dill pretty finely and then we're going to fry it. So. So we are going to fry the herbs and I'm just turning on the heater. On and I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of oil. The oil is hot now, I'm going to add the greens. So you really want to take the water out of the greens, so just cook it on high and stir it until the water is reduced. You can see the herbs are pretty dry, there's not a lot of water in the pan. So I'm going to add the canned herbs that I the parsley and cilantro. And I'm gonna add actually just half of the can and cook the water out of that as well. So they're definitely cooked enough, pretty dry, so I'm gonna turn the heat off and remove it from the burner. So I have a large pot here, filled it up halfway up with hot water, and I turned the burner on high to bring it to a boil, and I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of salt. And a couple tablespoons of oil. So I'm putting this little sieve into the water and I'm gonna put a whole head of garlic in. I peeled the outer skin off the garlic so that the flavor can release more. So now I'm gonna strain the rice and then I'm gonna add it to the boiling water. Perfect. Put the garlic back in. So now I'm gonna cover it and bring it back up to a boil and let it cook for five to seven minutes. So it's been about five minutes. The rice is almost ready to strain. It's like 75% um, cooked. It's a little hard in the middle still. So I'm gonna take this garlic out and I'm gonna add the greens. And we're gonna cook that two more minutes and then strain it. So I'm adding a little oil back into the pan. Swirl that around. And then I have some potatoes here. They're thinly sliced, and I'm going to lay those around the bottom. So now I'm sprinkling a little salt around them. And now I'm adding the rice. So I'm going to bury the garlic clove back into the rice and make a nice mountain here. And make a hole in the middle of the rice. That will help let the steam out. Mix this a little bit here. So now I'm covering the lid with a cloth and that will help absorb the evaporated water from this rice. Secure it over the rice. And then I'm going to reduce the temperature down to low and let it steam for about 15 minutes. Now I'm going to heat up some oil for the rice and I'm gonna turn the burner on high and put about a quarter cup of oil in the pan. All right, so the oil is very, very hot, so I'm gonna pour it over the rice now. Now just stir the rice around. So, we are finished with cooking the rice and now it's time to fry the bass. I'm gonna add like, uh, I'm gonna turn the heater on first and then I'm gonna add the whole one and a half liter of oil 
because I want my fish to cook all through. That was half a liter. And that's another liter. So that's enough. So it's time for us to add the fish into the pan. So it's time to flip it after some minutes. It's great. So after 10 minutes of cooking the fish, I think it's done. And let's move it back to the rice. Very careful. So it's done after 10 minutes of cooking the fish. Now we're gonna go and eat it.